Hi, dear. Pete called twice. He wants to know if you're bowling. Tired? A little. I'll get you some coffee. No, thank you, dear, but I sure could use a drink. You worried? A little. Red, he's going to forget when he's been out a while. It'll take time, but he'll forget. Oh, he won't. Not Vic. Well, then you've got to talk some sense into him. He loses his wife, his kid, and three years of his life all in one day, and you want me to talk sense into him. Be reasonable, Emily. Red. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. But they had to get rid of Vic. He was breathing down their necks. He had Morelli and Buddha right where he wanted them, and he was going to take a couple of pretty big names with him. So what do they do? They plant a bomb in his car and frame him with a bundle of hot money. Yeah. <laughs> Vic was lucky. He got off with three years for accepting a dirty bribe. And half his face blown off. Oh, I don't know. I'm starting to wish we'd never see him again. Well, let him in, dear. Hello, Vic. Well, don't just stand there, Emily. Get Vic a drink. He hasn't changed any. Noisy as ever. Come on, Vic. Sit down. Gee, Vic, it's good to see you. I can't stay long, right? What are you talking about? What do you mean you can't stay long? You're going to stay here till you find a place of your own. Isn't that right, Emily? That's up to Vic. He can stay as long as he wants to. He knows that. Okay, Morelli, Red. Forget Morelli. Could you? Well, I don't know. Maybe I could, maybe I couldn't. Where's your kid, Red? In school. My kid never got old enough to go to school. Look, Vic, I know it sounds easy for me to tell you to forget. But I've got a family. And I don't know what it is to be hurt like you've been hurt. But I've been a cop long enough to know that nobody wins a tie score. So you find Tino and even it up. Then me or somebody like me has to come out and get you. It's no good, Vic. Vic, you've got to forget it. Where's Morelli, Red? Uh, I told you I don't know. Don't lie to me, Red. Have I ever? Sorry, man. Yeah, okay. Thanks, sir. Hi, Emily. Rick here? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, Red. Oh, Ryan. Glad I'd find you here, Vic. How are you? Fine, Ryan. What's on your mind? Got another drink around here, Emmy? Sure, coming right up. Make it a short one. First of all, I want to tell you that we're all real glad you're out. Especially me. Thanks again. Emmy, I love you. Red? No, thank you, Dick. Vic? Yes, we end up with you, man. Boys are a little worried about you, Vic. Oh. Why? Because they like you. Go on. Okay, you bought a gun. Still got Morelli on your mind? Shouldn't I? That's a fair question, so I'll answer it. No, you shouldn't. Sure. But nice talking to you. Goodbye, man. So long, Vic. You don't have to. I'm leaving town. Where are you going? None of your business. Vic. Look. The only thing I ever wanted was to be a good cop, but they got to me. Oh, they got to me good. Now there's only one thing I want. Vic, I can't let you go. Look, 
Foxy Davis has a charge against you, assault and battery. Give me the gun. Look, Ray. 